Happy cooking! I'm on my Steam because I'm trying to see. But yeah, as long as the camera's not like that, I feel like, not like I'm not gonna be scared, but I feel like it'll be a lot, so much easier for me. Like if the water's blue, I'm chilling. Ooh, look at all the food. This is so I'm supposed to be cooking on rip off. I feel it. New game. Ah! I can't believe it. We're here. We're actually here. Now, Lisa, calm down. But, Dad, we're really here. Can you believe it? Maybe it's a not. Like, Cooking Mom, this is a story. The future chef's competition. I mean, we're actually here. We're here. I know, sweetie. I drove you here. But the future chef's competition is the most prestigious youth cooking contest in the entire area. Lisa, you might want to take it easy. The winner gets a huge cash prize. And I'll be crowned the best young chef in the local region. I'll win it. You'll see. Everyone will see. Okay, okay. Let's just get you enrolled first. You wait here. and I'll go find someone to help us out. For this week, because I have two presentations. Potentially the last time I'm seeing some of these engineering men. I say do it. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Say, oh, I hate that color. Come on, no. That would be stupid of them. <laughs> I feel like if you want to, do it. Live a little. You wait here. I'll go find someone to help us out. Oh, wow, sure are a lot of young chefs entering. I sure wish Hopper were here with me. I know I dropped them somewhere. They must be here. Hmm, that man seems to be searching for something. They must be here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, is someone there? Um, can't you see me? I'm right in front of you. Oh, I'm afraid I can't. You see, I've dropped my eyeglasses and can't see a thing without them. Oh, geez. Maybe I can help you find them. Is it Saturday? I'm telling you, I'm so thrown off on the day. Where could it be? Found them. Like, I thought it was Saturday, but for a second I was like, I need to set my alarm for work tomorrow. And I'm like... Yeah, paint the hetero flag on them. Good as new. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, little lady. I owe you a great debt. No thanks necessary. Glad I could help. Are you here to sign up for the competition? Yes, sir. I'm Elisa. Oops, as a matter of fact, I'd better go see where dad is. Sorry, mister. Gotta run. Bye. What a nice young girl. My stack for TVC monsters. with these stuck on. <laughs> I literally just pulled up a chunk. So I'm like, were you there? <laughs> were you at the end of it? <laughs> yeah, I beat it. <laughs> Damn, the devil's around here somewhere. Where could he be? This must be a joke. Um, excuse me. Miss Lou, you said this contest boasted the best chefs around. It has been a disappointing turnout. Ha, huh? do you really think you have what it takes to beat me, Chloe Patterson? Well, I, um, I was awarded best chef in my hometown for the last two years. Who's your instructor for this competition, little girl? Well, I don't really have... She doesn't even have an instructor. The hetero flag is kind of ugly. I don't know if I could live with that. Oh, yeah, it's not that cute. It's not cute. Looks like... I don't know. I don't have a... I don't have a silly quip. Yeah, it's not cute. <laughs> what color are you gonna do if you do paint them? For your presentations. Ha, what a joke. Actually, she does have an instructor. 
Huh? It's the man from a few minutes ago. And who might you be? Chef Walton, Miss Lisa's instructor. What impossible. It can't be. This old guy? Chef John Walton, the legendary royal chef? Yes. Can't be. He retired years ago and no one has seen him since. If you don't mind, my pupil and I have work to do. Pupil. Hmm, I see. Very well. Our paths will cross again soon, I'm sure. Come, Chloe. Um, excuse me, but... Oh my, look at the time. Sorry, Miss Lisa, I got to run. Meet me at this address tomorrow. First thing, make sure you're on time. What just happened? Well, Lisa, everything is settled. You're all signed up for the Future Chefs competition. Isn't that great? Yeah, terrific. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, my house is so cute, though. Oh, my room is even cuter. Yawn. Huh? Ah, I overslept. I'm gonna be late for my first lesson on the shelf of Walton. Crash, thud, boink. The gay flag is actually slay. Like, not the rainbow one, like the all blue one. It is. Like the blue and greens. Ow. The MLM one. What is all the commotion up there? She's just excited about her first day. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Lisa, what about your breakfast? Oh, that girl. I'll eat one up there. What do you have against rainbows, though? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I made it. Ah, Miss Lisa, just in time. Ready to get started with your first lesson? Already? But I, yeah, made it specifically for me in my color palette. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing gets old ticker moving like better than some early morning cooking. A true chef must be in great shape and ready to start the day. Well, maybe just a moment to catch my breath. Very good. Here we go. Oh boy. Tasty tuna sandwich. Let's begin with your first lesson. All set? I guess so. A little bit nervous. That's natural. Nothing to be ashamed of. Let's begin. The main dish for today will be a tuna sandwich. We'll also make onion rings and chicken noodle soup. This all sounds so delectable. To be our side dishes. Presto, looks good. Now it's your turn, Miss Lisa. Oh wait, I plum forgot. I need to explain. The kitchen utensils you're using, silly of me to forget. Try touching the utensils around the kitchen. Chopping board, that's a chopping board. Let's go to the fridge. Wall oven, every restaurant needs to have one. Microwave, heats things up. That's the refrigerator, lots of ingredients in there. That's the clock, use it to tell time, no way. Frying pan, pot, ladle, spatula, stove, oven, you can bake puddings, oven mitt, or oven glove, a knife, a rice cooker, a mixer, the sink you clean. Sponge, detergent. Well, I think I got it. Is that all you need to know? Yes. Yes. Okay. Rub, rub, rub. <laughs> oh, now shake them dry. Ooh, it's sparkly clean! My hands are so clean. Well, let, oh wow! Tuna, celery, apple, lettuce, and, oh, they're all the stuff that is there. Bro, please look at the chicken. No potato. Oh wait, that's... I don't need green onions. 
But I need chicken! And I need apple. I'm gonna learn so much. First, make the chicken noodle soup. Cut the celery. I will touch the knife. Be careful, it is sharp. Oh, I diced that. That's how you dice it! Hee hee hee! Delicious Dungeon Wood Serves a game. Because I love cooking in a game. We have chicken already boiling in a pot. First, add a soup base. I'm stirring it a little bit. A little time has passed. I don't remember us grabbing the egg noodle. That's perfect. What if I like it a bit peppery and salty? Click. Oh, off. Now I have chicken noodle soup. Onion rings. Oh my god, touch the knife. Be careful not to cut yourself. Okay. Now we have to cut it into rings. Oh. Oh, I will roll it around. What? I thought that was too much! I thought that was too much I did, so now I'm confused. Okay, we'll fry for a while. I decide I want to take them out. Fry them just a little longer. Oh, they do look delish. I thought he said I could do it whenever- This is dangerous. Why, that's perfect, Lisa. Now you've got onion rings. How old am I? The main dish, a tuna salad sandwich. Cut the apple. Don't cut myself. Do you think there's someone out there who's gonna match my freak? I think, yeah. You will find someone to match your freak one day. I think anything is possible. And I think some you will find someone to match your freak. I want more mayo to taste. That's like no mayo. I'm sorry. I feel like there's a lot of mayo antis in my life. Which... People can be pro or anti-mayo. But like... I like a little bit more mayo. You're so nice. Thank you. Yeah, where's Twitch user Slay Us Papa? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of like another like woman one and then a gender neutral one. So yes, parrot. <laughs> In the oven. I hate something dry to me. Oh yeah, I don't want like too much. But some people like don't like mayo. Like some people are like, I don't put anything, I don't put any spread on my sandwich, which if you don't, that's fine. I don't care, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but for me, I'm just kind of like, I got a nice little mayo layer. I'm so sorry, sometimes I'll say things and then just say I don't care about the response that you'll have to it. But sometimes it's like, how you prefer it does not matter to me, but it is interesting because I feel like I've always been someone like, you know, just a, little, a bit of mayo. But I've met like multiple people in my life now that are like, I don't like mayo. And that's fine, but I'm just kind of like, wow, like I've, 
Obviously, everyone has preferences, but I feel like I would at least be mayo neutral. This, to me, just gives tuna. This is kind of fun, how you could choose, like, the platings you have. Oh, that's so fun! You can, like, decide what exactly you're gonna be having. Well, I feel like this is the one they gave me. I don't know, what do we have? We do have soup. And something else, so I think we do have to go for at least a spoon. I don't know. Oh my god, I can add garnishes! Just a bit. Just a bit now on my sis. I want to know that- okay, you know what, though, I do see, like, the point of the game now, though. Like, yeah, I will put a leaf in that. Um, what is this? Well. I told y'all I will put a bit of mayo on it. Egg and mayo sandwich. No joke. If I ever have a tuna fish sandwich, I actually have it like with eggs in it to the point it's like egg with like the teensiest bit of um tuna. How do you like your eggs? If I am somewhere, I'll usually ask for them scrambled. Just because I think it's so hard to fuck it up. But I like scrambled or like super over easy. Like, I need that yolk runny. Like, I don't want a single bit of that yolk to be solid. But, um, typically I like them scrambled. And if I'm having eggs, I will also usually just make them scrambled. I don't really eat poached eggs that much, but I used to be a poached egg fiend. How was your first... Also, I would never put mayo on the outside unless you're doing, like, a toasty or grilled cheese and you're making it. Although when I make grilled cheese, I use butter, but I'm saying I know like British people do it, so I'm not I'm not being anti-British here. I'm still trying to catch my breath. Haven't cooked like that before, but I must say it was kind of cool putting my skills to the test. Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. I'd say... I'm trying to look at my, st my stream delay. I did... Oh, I did great. On the outside side of butter for grilled cheese. See, is it so is it such a good thing? I was not being anti that, but I feel like I would. Cause I also saw a TikTok where someone's like, "You've got to try this." But yeah, how do y'all like your eggs? That one I do care about. I just got back from Spy Family movie. It was really good. Oh, good. I'm so behind in Spy Family. I need to catch up. Excellent job, Miss Lisa, for doing so well. I bestow upon you a new recipe. French toast. You can also freestyle. Collect them all and happy cooking. How was your first try at cooking? Whether you did well or not, it's time for a break. If you want to stop cooking for now and come back later, you should use the handy save function. You can save three different games. Go ahead and pick a slot to save the game now. We're going to do the fierce pink. That was really Hunter, that's what I'm talking about. That- I saw that TikTok. I didn't watch the TikTok, but I would 100% try it. And it has led me to one of my new favorite words. Oh my god, what was the word? Oh my god, what was the word? I don't know, but it was like someone was like, at a certain point in time, y'all, you people need to admit that you just don't like trying interesting food or trying new things. It was something along those lines. But, interesting. 
It gives us such a nicer crisp. That's a bit of sour flavor. I need to try it. Because I do, um, in The Sims 2, you could have a second aspiration. It'd be like the main aspiration you'd pick, and then you get a second aspiration. And there was like a hidden aspiration. Like it could not be your main one, but it could be your secondary. And it was the grilled cheese aspiration. And I always like to joke that I also have that aspiration because I make really good grilled cheese sandwiches. Like all of my grilled cheese sandwiches are like perfectly grilled or near perfectly grilled. Like, you know, if I'm trying out a new bread type, but like, hmm. But I gotta try presenting to myself. <gasps> You gotta let me know how it is. I wanna add, I was thinking today, I wanna like change up my servers a bit in my... Change up my channels a bit in my Discord server. And I was thinking of adding the food one so that way people could like... I feel like we got a lot of people that like to make various types of food and things and I thought it'd be a good place for people to like share their recipes and things that they're trying or even just pictures of food. Because sometimes I'm like, aren't we all to see my Italian sliders I just made? And that way, if anyone does get, like, triggered by any form of food things, they can just meet that channel. So I was thinking about it. And, um, serve channels on the chopping block, though. Prob's gonna get rid of and Rampa Final Fantasy Online. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, like... Probably get rid of meme, the meme channel. If y'all want to post a meme, I'll just have an IRL, like an other section. Um, cause like, I don't know. I feel like I'm very much a person. I don't need to have an active Discord. Plus, the doll channel is pretty active, and I'm like, that's all I really need, you know. So I think I'm gonna limit. I'm gonna change them up a bit. Um. And yeah, just kind of just do a few little minor changes. I don't know. Continue. We'll do at least one more recipe. Back to your cooking then. But yeah, because I'm like, I love food. So, and then you'll also like share like pictures of food from a restaurant, whatever. That concludes our first lesson. Nicely done, Miss Lisa. Wow, that was tough, but I do feel like I've learned something. Which I feel like, again, I don't need my Discord to be, pop to be like populated anyway. Cause I'm like, I got one channel that people talk in. I'm chillin'. <coughs> Add a shade tree channel. <gasps> the shade tree. Well, you certainly have potential. However, we have a lot to learn and on a short amount of time to do it. You must stay focused and confident. I'll do my best, I promise. Ha ha ha, I'm sure you will. And I'll be here tomorrow and we'll continue your training. I'll be prepared for your next lesson. It'll be more difficult. No problem. One thing I don't, not like I don't understand, like I understand, but I don't understand is that people have vent channels. Like, I get it, but I am like, that seems a little difficult to moderate. I feel like it can be done successfully, but I feel like that, that's a bit too much for me to handle, I think. Where the sweet peaches talk about the bad apples. Okay, my transition scene switching from One Housewives to me. We're going to this place where the sweet peaches talk about the bad apples. Hey guys, it's Lisa. Lisa's here. Oh, duh. We heard you sign up for the future chef's competition. Is it true? Yep, it's true. I'm taking lessons from a legendary chef. Dave just wants some more of your cooking. Lisa's gonna beat them all. She cooks the best food in town. Which, people could obviously vent about like certain topics, but I feel like a vent channel could really go. It could really get to a point where it's really hard to reel back, you know what I mean? But I know some people have had them, and I know like also people have had it set to where like it's gonna clear the chat after like a day, so that way like all the stuff's gone, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm really just thinking about that. Because I was reading someone else's server rules, because I'm just like, I'm just curious what else they have, you know, as their server rules. Um, because it was like a big server. And one of their things is like, no vent channel, here's why. 
Don't mind him. His stomach runs his brain. What are you guys up to? We were just playing some darts. What about you? A wanna play? Sure, it sounds fun. Be careful. Dave almost hit me in the head earlier. A bug flew in my ear, okay? Oh my god. Touch to throw. I ate that up. I ate that up. I ate that up. Oh my god. Oh. oh, a bit too aggressive of me. I'm not doing great at this. I didn't realize which ones were good or bad points. But look at me go. She ate that for breakfast, lunch, and din din. Jeez, what a day. I'm exhausted. I can't remember the last time I was this tired. I sure wish Hopper were around. She would always cheer me up after a long day. It's been three months since she had to return to the moon world for some unknown emergency. Don't know the lore. I wonder what's going on up there. Anyway, I better get some sleep. Big day tomorrow. Where is she? What could she have? Where could she have gone? Oh, she has to be here somewhere. Lisa, what are you yelling about? I can't find Rolina, Mom. Rolina? The doll that Dev gave me for my birthday two months ago. I haven't been able to find her lately. I'm sure Rolina's around here somewhere. You better get going or you'll be late for your cooking lesson. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I've got to go out of my way. So much energy in such a small girl. I'll never figure it out. Yeah, that's also another thing. Again, like, I'm so happy people use the doll channel. Like, I just need one channel to be, like, popping. But I would be so, like, oh, there's a notification for my Discord. What on earth could it be? Oh, someone venting. Someone venting about some things. Like, I don't know. I feel like I just wouldn't want to be a place that kind of, like, housed just negativity like that. If that makes sense. But again, I do think it is good to vent out frustrations and sadness and feelings and emotions. But I just feel like a Discord server, for me, I feel like my server would not be a good place for that. Because, I don't know. I feel like that there's also the thing of like... Like, you know, with Tumblr yelling into the void. Not like we all know each other, like we know each other's personal business and things like that, but it's kind of like, that's learning a lot about people in a very small time frame. Which, like, obviously, if anyone ever has some very serious thing that they feel like they just really want to talk to me about, like... I can be there to listen. <laughs> but I just, I think I would rather that not be something that's like a server-wide thing that, like... I gotta protect my community members. And I think that is something that like, I don't know. I do that, yeah, I do that in personal Discord group chat. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, this is your second lesson. We have a lot to learn before the big competition. All set, Miss Lisa. Yes, sir, ready and willing. That's the spirit. Let me inform you of what's on today's menu. The main dish, spaghetti and meatballs. We'll also be making garlic toast and a baked apple. I'm gonna make that so good. Here's what here's what we got. Mine will not look like that, but gather all your ingredients to find everything you need in the refrigerator. Ground meat, onion, eggs, apple, and butter. But also, I know I just said y'all could like if there's something you really need to talk to me about, you can. But like. No one take that as a, I am going to vent every single thing to you. Because it co becomes the same thing of like doing it in the server of only having a vent channel be active. It's kind of like, oh, this person's message me to vent again. <laughs> Sorry, let me, let me establish my expectations of what I am capable of as a person. Make a baked apple, use plenty of sugar and honey. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Well, I wanna add a little bit more. That might be too much, oh. Well, he said I could do it for taste. And I like ap I like honey. Flopped on that one. <sighs> I 
My microwave has a button that you can just click that'll do things in 30 seconds. And I've been a big fan of doing things in 30 second intervals now. Oh, well, I did not spread the very well. Okay. Do we have to- what did we preheat our oven to? Spaghetti and meatballs. I'm so good at cutting an onion. It's kind of incredible. Y'all be kind of gagged at the strat I have. I'd be like, damn girl, you cut that onion. Now that was cooking mama. Not gonna be salty enough. Maybe like three stars. Oh, I'm making, I'm rolling this. It has Bryce off the red or something. These people, you, you, the color picker is your friend. Find some official art and color pick that. Boiling water, add salt to taste. Ooh, a lot of time has passed. Sauteed in the frying pan. Good luck, thanks. We have some oil simmering at the meatballs. Saute gently, then ketchup. I feel like I could just add more salt to this to make up for the fact I did not put as many in the pasta as I should have. off now I've got spaghetti and meatballs serve it up okay hmm oh did our things change or did we get a new one I like I kind of you know I like the simplicity of a, of a red Oh, that is not the color I wanted at all. We'll do a red and blue. Okay. You know, I think a normal fork and knife will do us wonders. How would I like to garnish? Ham? Rearrange the plate, what do they mean? What's this? More grated cheese. What's this? A baked apple, I will not add grated cheese, what's that? <gasps> Let's add some mint, that's kind of fierce. Let's add some fun apples. I just want a whole fruit tray. I think that's- oh wait, what? I got a whole- oh my god, ice cream on top. Why? 
Can I like not put things on it? On it? Okay. Next. I'm not gonna add anything. What's this? Wait, I didn't want the sauce there. Oh, okay, fine. We'll have like a little thing of sauce. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want sauce. <sighs> Pissed. I flopped. Yeah. Why are my garnishes so low? Strawberry yogurt cream. I'm done with this game. I'm I'm done with happy cooking. <laughs>